Hello everybody and welcome to my unboxing. This is a new coin and I've had it for about three weeks now and I absolutely love this. This is the 2018 High Relief Dragon and Tiger 2 ounce silver proof coin. The box is the same as the gold version other than the fact that it has silver highlights as you'd expect. And of course it's from the Perth Mint. So let's take a look at this coin. Here's the uh, COA, the number, and this has a mintage of 1500. The gold version has a mintage, mintage of 500. Apparently in Chinese mythology the tiger is the female, or the yin, energy, and the dragon is the yang, or male, energy. The standard Perth Mint box. And here it is. Just an absolutely beautiful coin. I love this thing. I love the look on the tiger's face, the spine down its back, the high relief texture, concave surface, the texture. You've got the flaming pearl in the middle. Just an absolutely stunning coin. There's a two ounce of course, it's thicker. And on the back we have QE2 as usual. Look at the detail. Yes, yeah, certainly my favourite coin. In fact, I, I loved it so much I actually went out and bought a second one. So I've got two of them now. I think I was afraid I was going to wear this one out. Let's have a look at how it compares with um, the previous coin, the Dragon and Phoenix. Here it is here. This is the proof coin, one ounce. Still a beautiful coin, but when you compare it to the high relief version, it's uh, it's quite different. And of course, the thickness differs. But still, a lovely coin. Now I've seen and I've held the gold design of this and it is beautiful, there's no doubt about that. But of course, for a high relief coin and a proof coin, you're paying a very high premium. And although this is just two ounces of silver, I can wear this. I can't wear it for the gold coin. The, the premium above spot for the gold version of this is 1,500 US dollars. For the gold and I just can't wear that one. So I'll make do with my two silver versions of this. Now normally when somebody advertises an unboxing they start with a package and you, they open that and then five minutes later a coin is revealed but when I buy my coins they come packaged like this. They come in a simple paper bag because this bag is from the Perth Mint. I'm fortunate enough that I live in Perth and if I want a coin I simply get in my car and go down and pick it up. The Perth Mint is um, very helpful. Of course unlike the US Mint where you cannot buy coins or bullion from them directly you have to go to a dealer. At the Perth Mint you can and they are open seven days a week from nine to five so if I feel like getting something at nine o'clock on a Sunday morning I can I can do that and uh, they'll sell me whatever I'm willing to buy. Um, so there's the Perth Mint. While I'm there I'll pick up the, um, the latest brochures. This is the current uh, investment bullion program. It features all the current bullion coins.
There's the um, kangaroos and there's the Lunar series. Two different, two different dogs this year. And the kookaburras. And they also put out a monthly bulletin as well that um, advertises the month's coins. So there's a new range every month. A lot of these things you probably wouldn't bother with, but there's an, certainly an interesting selection. And here is the two ounce gold coin that I spoke of. Just a beautiful coin, but so expensive. Both this one and the gold Dragon Phoenix 2 ounce are still available for sale. While I was there, I also decided to buy some of the Dragon and Tiger bullion coins. So I ordered six, and here they are. And I thought, well, I'm not a stacker, but this one's a no-brainer. This is obviously going to be a popular coin. So I went back two days later and I said, what more can you sell me? And she rang out the back and she came back a little bit later and said, well, we can probably get you 10 more. So I ordered 10 more, picked them up two days later, and here they are. And when I picked these ones up, I said, are there any left? And she said, no, these are the last 10. So what I'm holding in my hand now are the last 10 dragon and tiger bullion coins from the Perth Mint. Anyway, I've managed to get 16 of them, so I'm very happy. But that's the end of that series. They went within three weeks of going on sale. 50,000 mintage. Another one that sold out recently, or rather in the last week, was this one, the Bird of Paradise. I always wondered how this one would go. This is obviously the first year that they produced this coin. Um, and it has sold out. Um, it sold out just a week ago, and it's now late June 2018 as I speak. But I, I love this coin. I love the look of it. Those wings are just amazing. When you actually pick this coin up and you hold it up to the light, um, each of those feathers is like a different mirror and it just reflects light at different angles around the room. It's an amazing coin. Still available in gold if you want it, but the silvers are gone. Somebody asked in a video I saw recently what is going to happen when Queen Elizabeth dies in terms of this, this coinage. Well, the same rules of accession apply today as they did or have been doing for the last 1,200 years. So when she dies, her heir apparent, who is, of course, um, Prince Charles, he will become king. That's the old expression, the king is dead, long live the king. Well, in this case, when the queen dies, it'll be the queen is dead, long live the king. And Prince Charles will become King Charles III. And when he dies, his son William will become King William V. And when William dies, his little boy George will become King George the Seventh. So that's how it all works. But the point for us here is that will the Queen of England or King of England remain our head of state? Currently, the monarch of Great Britain is the head of state in 16 Commonwealth countries, including Canada, Australia, New Zealand. But um, here, at least, that will change, probably. Um, it may well change when the Queen dies. Um, we had one referendum on this 20 years ago, and I think there'll probably be another one when, when she passes. We'll wait and see. All right, so getting back to the Perth Mint again. Um, while you're there, you can pick up your updated um, price sheet. There is the pricings for the gold coins this particular day that I was there, and there's the silvers on the back. The price list changes every day, depending on the current price of gold and silver. You can also do a tour of the mint. They actually do tours seven, days, seven times a day, so um, there's a lot happening. And um, while you're there, you can um, Look at the one ton gold coin, which is as of, as I say, this is now end of June 2018. This coin next month, July, will tour the United States. I think it's going to New York first, so um, it's always an interesting one. I, I spoke to the lady about this last week and she said um, the current value of this coin is estimated at 63 million Australian, which is 46.6 million US. So, if you want to buy it, um, you'll get a chance to do so. I, uh, I don't know where you'd put it though. Would you put it in the living room? 
don't know. Might be a bit of a risk. You can also look at the gold pour while you're there. Um, so, yes, I mean, the Perth Mint is kind of like um, a candy store. It's a candy store for people that like gold and silver and diamonds because they sell a lot of diamonds there too. The two of the largest gold mines in the world are in this state and one of the world's largest diamond mine is also in this state. So there's a lot of choice there in terms of that. So it's like a, really like a candy store if you're in the market for these precious metals or, or diamonds. It's kind of like the Willy Wonka of uh, precious metals, this place. It's great. Now, here's a quiz question for you. Which of the Australian animals that's featured on Perthman coins is not endemic to this part of the world? Well, I'll tell you, it's the koala. There are no koalas in Western Australia. It's not native to this part of the world. They only exist in the East Coast. And the only koalas here are the ones in zoos or in wildlife parks. Very cute. The animal that is most associated with this state is, oddly enough, this one, the, the swan. But this is not just any swan, this is the black swan. It was first sighted here 300 years ago, more than 300 years ago, by the early Dutch explorers who were very surprised to see their first black swan. And after them came the English. The river here was named after them. It's the Swan River. And the town that grew up beside the river was named the Swan River Colony. Well, here's the Swan River and the Swan River Colony today. It's now Perth. But that is still the Swan River upon which this city is built. There it is there. And the Swan features in many things here. It's, um, it's sort of the symbol of the city and it appears on our state flag. Here's the state flag of Western Australia. That's, that's as it actually looks. And as a result of being on the state flag, it's also on the, the national, um, or the Australian um, coat of arms. Here it is here, featuring the kangaroo and the emu. And in the center, we've got representations of these six states. Yes, that's right. There are only six states in Australia, plus two territories. And the black swan in the centre is representative of Western Australia. So you see that the, um, the swan has um, a lot of um, history here. So much so, of course, that the, the Perth Mint um, have the swan as their symbol. So there it is. The swan... All right, well, that's, um, that's all I've got. Um, catch you next time.